Alright guys, what's going on? How are you guys doing today? Today, I'm coming at you guys with another NCAA 18 returning video. If you didn't get to see my last one, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But basically guys, if you guys didn't know, IMV Gaming is planning to return the college football franchise that we all love and miss. They have already confirmed that there will be another college football game coming out from them. We just aren't sure if it's going to be in 2018, 2017, 2019, or exactly when it's going to be. We know that they are still raising money. Here's a tweet from them themselves saying that they are $15,000 away from their next milestone. And trust me guys, they have been raising money very efficiently, so that's really not even that much of a big deal, especially when they have things going for them like this. I'll post a link in the description for any of you guys that want to watch this video guys but basically they posted a video on their Twitter of NFL players and pro players of any sport of any kind basically talking about how if they get enough people to buy into this game that those professional athletes will donate a lot of money into the cause of this game. For those of you that want to get into the video into more detail I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to go watch it. Here I'm going to leave some pictures for you guys to see that they actually tweeted out and showed what their game interface will actually look like when you are um, in the play now. Now of course for anyone that knows college football you would understand quickly and see that these are not real college football teams and do not worry one bit I'm going to explain why that is here in a second and what they're going to do to make sure that you guys get to play with your favorite team and all your favorite players. So like I said, of course, people were questioning um, how the game was going to be when they tweeted those pictures out of the teams and everything like that. I'm just going to read these off to you and then explain it to you the best to my ability. So basically somebody asked if they would be able to turn these generic universities, such as the ones that you've seen in the concept art, into real ones with real players, um, with the current ranking and the current players and their current uniforms and everything like that. And you can read these tweets if you would like, guys, but basically, as a short answer, guys, yes, you will be able to take these um, custom universities and change them into the college team that you like to watch and with your players, and it will not be hard. Just like the old college football games, there will be people in the community or even maybe developers of the game who create downloads to where you can download your favorite team or maybe even the whole entire NCAA because um, there are current roster updates on um, the, like the NCAA 14 that is currently out. People will do that, guaranteed. So basically, if you don't understand what I just said, the game will not be released with all of the real college football teams and rosters and everything like that. After it is bought, there will be downloads from the community that are created with the accurate team names, accurate uniforms, and accurate players. So basically, it'll be just like NCAA football. The only thing that you'll have to worry about when buying this game will be the actual gameplay and if you like it. IMV Gaming on Twitter, of course, the company that is making this game, uh, put out this picture on Twitter and it is basically kind of explaining how it is legally going to work because as we all know, you can't use a player's likeliness in college and make money off of it. So it's basically just kind of explaining what I just explained. Um, but what it also revealed, um, for anybody that didn't know, the name of this college football game is going to be called Gridiron Champions, which sounds pretty cool. Of course, they can't name it NCAA 18 or 19 because they aren't a um, NCAA certified game producing company. Uh, so they can't, you know, use that name or else they'd get copyrighted and then it'd just be more legal bullcrap that none of us want. But anyway, guys, back to the actual news of the game. This is a concept picture of how they believe their uh, creation center is going to look. Uh, basically, this is just a picture of if you were creating a character, because we all know we all like to go create a player on NCAA or Madden and give them 99 speed and everything. Um, but as you guys can see here, this is them creating a jersey, I believe. Um, but they have basically confirmed that there will be create a player and create a team and basically anything that the old NCAA games had, this game will have as well. And guys, here is another picture that I know a lot of you guys will be excited about because on the last video I made, a lot of people asked me questions I didn't know, such as, will there be dynasty mode? Will I be able to make a team and then get them into the playoff? get get in and go through a regular season and things like that so here's a concept picture they put out that basically shows that there will be a dynasty mode you'll be able to have 
uh, go through your regular season basically and then end up in the playoff. Kind of like college football has the college football playoff, you know, in real life. This is called the Gridiron Playoff Chase. Basically, um, there's going to be the top four teams and you'll get to play through it like it's the normal playoffs in college football, which is amazing. And like I said, I assume it'll have the regular season before it. So for you guys that loved playing Dynasty mode like I did in the old college football games, this is for you. It's basically confirmed now that there will be Dynasty mode. Also, guys, look at the bottom. Those are Xbox buttons. That does mean that this game will be released on PlayStation and Xbox. So don't worry if you're on Xbox One. Um, last video, I had tons and tons of comments asking, will this be on Xbox One? And I was like, well, you know, that'd be a lot of money they'd lose if it wouldn't be. But I can't answer that because I'm not a developer, obviously. But this picture right here shows that it has Xbox buttons on the bottom. They wouldn't do that if it was just coming out for PlayStation. And I've already given you all the reasons it's coming out on PlayStation. It's just way too obvious. Like I said, go check out that last video if you didn't see it. But yes, guys, this does prove it'll be coming out on PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So guys, I hope this helps you guys out and informs you on everything you wanted to know so far that is out about the new college football game that will be released sooner or later. Like I said guys, link in the description to the video about the uh, professional sports players endorsing this game and this company to show its legitimacy. So basically guys, you can trust this. You can trust this. It's going to happen. College football, 18, 19, 20, whatever, whenever they get the money they need. Which should be soon, by the way, because if they're $15,000 off $100,000, that means they've raised $85,000 toward this game already. And that tweet was from a little while ago, so I guarantee you they're getting closer to that $100,000 mark. And guys, you should know that if they're getting that much money, that they're making a college football game. It's right in front of us. It's obvious it's going to happen. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and hearing me talk about this. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share. It helps out a lot, and also it'll help get out the word about the college football game more, so that means it'll come out sooner. So guys, share this video and share IMV Gaming with all of your friends and everybody that wants a new college football game, because let's be clear, everybody wants it. So guys, that's it. Have a great day. Any questions, leave it in the comment section below, and goodbye.